Hello and welcome to the another episode on tips and workflow. In this week's uh, tips and workflow, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to automate your report generation. I know report generation is something is most time consuming, uh, cumbersome and people try to avoid a lot. But let me tell you how good you are as an analyst, but if you are not able to convey your results to the shop floor or to your customer or to your client, then your analysis goes in vain. So from version 2017, we have incorporated some of the default scripts to get started on to the report generations. So where do you find those scripts? Scripts are available in the in the reports folder. Uh, you have to go into the C program files, uh, Autodesk, Moldflow, Synergy 2019, data and in reports. And you can see that there are pre-populated scripts available. Now these scripts will have the extension as .rpt. Like in this case, I have like an four to five scripts already ready for me is like model RPT, filling RPT, cooling and warp RPT. You can also customize your, you can also customize your templates. So uh, whichever the template your company is using, probably you can use it. And these scripts can also be customized. I can open this into the like an, a notepad and you can put your report name, your details and the dot PO team starts for your template that you are going to use it. And these are the sum of the results. You can add more results. Make sure that when you're adding the results, you are capturing the very precise name of the results as it gets populated in our default result library. Okay, let's get started and I'll show you a, a sample of it. How does it works? I already I have run a fill and pack and warp analysis on this component. So how do you get started and execute these default scripts? Now these default scripts get executed from the from the command uh, folder or the report folder that I just showed it to you. So you need to be in the tab view and then user interface command line and like in this case, I'm going to execute a, a filling dot RPT. Let's see. And uh, these executions just take like a few seconds to complete this process. It uses the Excel sheet in the background, PowerPoint uh, micros in the background and I know some of the, these results may not fall in your requirement, but probably you can get started with it and then you can edit it as in you need. I know it takes a lot of time to put in all those details like material data, you know, and then mesh statistics, which your customer would be needed and all those processing parameter details. These are like become select and default templates. Uh, uh, when you're submitting uh, results. Now let's look at how this report final report look like. It's almost done and you can see that oops, it goes. So even if it is, uh, don't worry, if it is closing up by itself, it goes into the, the project on which you're working. And now as you can see, this report is almost ready. It has all the necessary content of like from geometry to the injection molding parameters details and then filling analysis simulation filling details now you can add this you can move it bit side and you can add your comments and then finally the key findings and uh, and the, your summary as i mentioned that you can change your template to your need if you need more information get in touch with us we will help you on the automation part of it i hope this workflow video was helpful for you and you will start using it uh, report customization uh, to to save your time on the report generations thank you for your time